we are here to fulfill an assignment for the course BBI 2423. The topic given was on human rights. So the banning of smoking in eateries is violating the right of people to smoke. The ban can be seen as a form of mistreatment on people's right and freedom. So we are asked to give our views on this topic. The act of smoking is vastly banned by many people around the world. And however, there is never a way around it as smoking is of course very bad for an individual. So from my point of view, the banning of smoking in eateries is not an act of mistreatment for the smokers. Smoking can cause harm to others, especially the secondhand smokers, as they could have a high risk to get all sorts of health problems, such as lung cancer, heart disease, stroke, uh, blocked arteries, stroke, and many more. Yes, I agree with Anna. Uh, as smoking is also affecting the secondhand smoke, so it's, uh, this, is, this is not right to say we are mistreating them, but the dating, uh, they are also mistreating other people's right to have um, to enjoy themselves uh, at the public juries. They went there for uh, to have uh, a good time with family, but apart from that, they have also to smoke, uh, except deal with smoker. Deal with this smoker who are only thinking about themselves. Yes, it's true. Because uh, from my opinion, I also think that smokers, some smokers, not all, are actually selfish yes. because they don't think about the the people around them when they smoke. Yet they told us that uh, we are mistreating them. Yes. That it is not right. It's true. true. Okay, I agree with Alia and Shima. It is actually not a violation of human rights because when you think of it, we already pay attention to the smokers and we want to be balanced between smokers and the non-smokers. So we give like, it's a win-win situation. So they can smoke but not at restaurants and public. It's so much more. Yeah, yeah, there's so other more food. places where you can smoke. Why you have to smoke in public place? Exactly. They were also given an enclosed place to smoke. Yes. And also a certain area to smoke without disturbing yeah. other people. It's not like they cannot smoke at all. No, you can smoke freely wherever you want, wherever you want. But not at the public interest. Yes. yes. What do you yes. think of that? In my opinion, smoking in public places, especially in places with a lot of people, is a pretty selfish thing to do. Secondly, as most Malaysians do, we like to litter. Yes. Yes, Malaysians love to litter. So, we are not putting the blame on fully on all smokers, but most smokers actually litter right after smoking a few parts of cigarettes. For example, uh, like littering in the drain, sidewalks, sidewalks, public eateries, of public course. eateries, and of course even on the trees. Yeah, we can see many cigarette butts around the trees. It's actually not all the smokers, but most of them did that, and it, it gives a big impact on our environment. And also tourism, as tourists can also see what they did and they would reflect on the whole country's reputation. Yes, I agree with that. So back on the rights of smokers, we don't think that they actually have uh, common sense if they say that we are mistreating them. Or should I say the government is mistreating them because they have so many privileges given, yet they still uh, think that they are pushed aside as it's not. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually a common sense. You cannot 
smoke in front of people at especially in the public eateries because they are having their food is it but some people are just born without that common sense so they have to be told and then yet when we en~ (um) enforce the law they say (uh) we are mistreating them but still (uh) they have to follow us because they don't have that common sense that they cannot do that in front of people if they did have that common sense we wouldn't have yeah. yes, uh, we wouldn't have enforced the law yes. the government wouldn't have enforced the law <laughs> because they would they understand other people and uh, think about uh, others first before lighting up a cigarette so enforce enforcing the law is actually needed for those who don't have that common sense Non smokers have right to clean air, mm-hmm. and also second hand smoke is more dangerous than actually smoking as well. It's true. This is why uh, second hand smokers have higher risk to have uh, diseases rather than smokers, and also uh, the born of premature babies. And, yeah, that is bad. So lastly, we think that. The smokers would set a bad example for the younger generation, as they would see uh, the smokers just light up cigarettes everywhere in public and not care about others. So they might think that oh, okay, that is cool, so we can try it out uh, as well, right? Yes. So it would good. yeah spread easily, mm-hmm. other than uh, compared to the good things. Exactly. So the generation of smokers won't actually decrease. Instead, it will start. It will still. Actually, it's more obviously because they are turning to vape. So same thing. Yeah. Vape <laughs> is also a type of like the same thing. It's actually more dangerous. So option that option. it should not be option at all. Yeah. So I think we have uh, come to a conclusion. Come to a conclusion that uh, we don't think that. Um, banning, banning of banning uh, smoking of smoking in eateries might mistreat um, uh, might mistreat the smokers. But as all of us have our own rights, and uh, other people also have the rights to breathe clean air. It's true. Thank you. As a lesson to learn, we do it next time. Smoke somewhere else. It's out. And also, it is also a way to. Uh, decrease the number of smokers as of course it is bad for health it is more it has more negativity and the other than positivity mm. so this is why it is not actually a mistreatment for smokers yes because majority of us is uh, agree on this as for enforcement of law okay so that is it for the video <laughs> thank you thank you